Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to round six of the Hospital Challenge Cup V. I'm your host, Jay Bor Staunton, and joining me, as always, is my sexy friend, big Brendan Source Hotel from the QRU. Source, last week, we saw some low-scoring fixtures, but we saw some absolutely cracking content, didn't we? Mate, low-scoring games, if we had a prop kick and a winning drop goal for the Gallopers and big Freddie Burke. All that stuff in the weights room paid off in the end. I don't know who's that impressed about it, though. But for me, mate, the highlight was definitely uh, young Freya Island. Uh, dad representing South, but apparently Tigers are the ones getting the win. She stitched him up so hard. God, it uh, was good fun. It was good fun off air. He was uh, saying that he had an absolute pearl of a joke lined up, and he definitely did, and he was the joke at the end of the day. But we may as well just get straight into the ladder because we've got some big fixtures here today. But we saw... A lot of movement last week. In particular, we saw Bond go to the top of the ladder undefeated after uh, the opening five rounds. And then Uni, Sunnybank and East rounding out that top four. Not necessarily what we would have expected, say, if it was an actual game of footy, because we've seen some teams that are really racing up the ladder. But it's been exciting stuff. Look, it has been exciting stuff for sure, mate. But I think the pressure's on for a few clubs to actually get a couple of wins. So... You know, East, after starting off the season quite well with a couple of wins there with Pilsy and Jack Hardy in, in control, they've had uh, two rough weeks on the trot. Um, and then obviously Brothers still sitting down the bottom of the ladder with no wins yet. <laughs> Who would have thought? The Brethren, the fall from grace. <laughs> Look, I'm not, uh, I'm not complaining, that's for sure, Source. But we may as well just get straight into this week's fixtures because we've got some very big matchups. Up first, we have Norths playing host to the students from the Gold Coast at 3.20. At 3.45, we've got the Tigers playing host to the students from St. Lucia. At 4.10, we've got Brothers versus Jeeps, an absolute barn burner of a match there. And then at 4.35, it's the Southside Derby. It is the Magpies going up against Sunnybank. But we may as well get straight into the first fixture today, Source. And who have we got, mate? Well, mate, to kick things off, we're starting with the clash between Norths and Bond. And joining us from the Eagles this week, we've got Nick Chapo Chapman. And from Bond, we've got a new player in Wilso Blythe. Gents, how are we? Good, thanks, Very Norse. good, thanks, Norse. Now, Chapo, mate, there's been a few lean weeks for the Eagles, mate. Are you feeling the pressure heading into this one? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I'm making some realistic goals, so trying to get some points on the board this week and go from there. No, very true, mate, very true. And I know in the last couple of weeks we've had a few issues with uh, with internet connection with you, mate. Has the dial-up sorted itself out for today? Yeah, we've upgraded. We've got ABN now, so it should be all sweet. <laughs> Flash fella up on the north side. Now, we'll say, mate, for the Bond fellas, yet to drop a game. Big Spencer played a brilliant clash uh, last week. Um, what's the secret, mate, to this uh, Gold Coast success? Uh, look, I think there's um, a lot of hours behind the scenes that people don't see, so pressure's definitely on today. Well, as you said, Wilson, obviously the pressure is on today. Four from four are the Bull Sharks, but here comes North in the form of Chapo, who's going to be picking up the sticks today. And it'll be Norths getting us underway here for our first fixture today in Hospital Challenge Cup V, round six action. And they opt to hammer that one down towards that 22 line and it's Pritchard who catches that one very well climbing high. And Dylan gets a short ball to Papworth. And a pick and go there from Bond. Shut down well there by the Eagles. Dan Boardman gets that flick pass away to Papworth. Slow going here for the Bull Sharks. Good defense there from Chapman and Co. Bond struggling to get out of their own 22 here, but they've got some numbers out on the right, on the left, sorry, and it's Gelder. Puts that one on the toe. So it looks like Norse have just run that one straight into touch. Off to a uh, bit of a shocker there, Chapo. <laughs> <laughs> you sound confident, mate. Yeah. 
<laughs> Dylan now finds third, finds Kiernan. And Dan Boardman with plenty of space finds Menzies. And it's all too easy here for the Bull Sharks. And try time straight off the bat. <laughs> well, Menzies over in the corner. Uh, much like he would be scoring in real life. Uh, we'll so talk us through this one, mate. Some great lead-up work from Dan Boardman here, as we see in the replay. Yeah, it looks saucy. Like usual, I think it was set off off that uh, off the back of that great line out, and you know, Max just had to put it through the hands. It was easy, easy money. Very nice, very nice. Well, Mitch third lining up the virtual kick here. He just about have a hundred percent hit rate in the uh, virtual game. Thirty. Uh, let's see if I can't change that. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't tell Talia, mate. <laughs> and Mitch Third adds the extras with ease there from five metres in from touch. So now Norse once again getting us underway. Ominous signs here. Can't help but think you're going to be seeing a lot of this today. And Ben Brecht. <laughs> Climbs up tall there, does the big Tasmanian, but throws that one straight into touch. So the Eagles now with a good opportunity here to try and build some phases. Deep inside the Bond 22. They opt to go for the short line out here. And well won there. Release. But smoked from behind. But Norts now with a good opportunity. Heavy defense there from the Bull Sharks. Slow going here, but here we go now. North deep inside the 22. Good defense there from Bond Uni. But North now building phase as well. Shoulder charge there. The referee says play on, but hands in the ruck there from Dan Boardman. He was blowing up deluxe about that was. Dan Boardman as well. I wonder if the real Dan Boardman's blowing up about the jawline on his virtual character. The haircut as well. We love hosing him in this game, don't we? <laughs> oh, look, he's a good guy. Rightfully so. He looks absolutely shocking in the virtual space. It's more like Ryan Cross. <laughs> Norths now. With the throw, climbing high at the front there was that Wilshire Slipper coming through. Good defense there from the tight head prop. And no numbers in support there for Norths whatsoever. But they'll be looking to build some phases here. Will the Eagles opt in to go for the pick and go? And Joey Finnick comes in and snipes that one easily. Drop hill there. Van Breck goes, looks to go down on that, but the Eagles get that ball back. But no idea who half these players are for the Eagles. They all look exactly the same out there, don't they? But we'll get through, Saucy Boy. And there's the turnover. Doesn't matter in the end anyway. Liam Dillon goes down the right, finds Menzies. Breaks that first tackle. Puts that one on the toe. And it's Corbin Keen and Herring after this one. But it goes too long there. But they opt to go. Chapman puts that one on the toe. A little bicycle back. Turner puts the shot on there. You have to say that player would have been a mile offside, but the referee is letting that one go. <laughs> Norths now working their way out of their own 22, but somehow knocked Not on sure by Bond, eh? I think that was actually knocked Bind. on by Blythe. Was it? <laughs> no, Should cut him. Ooh, how awkward. Get him out of there. He's useless. Bond Uni now putting on some serious pressure at scrum time and they get the tight head third, finds Kiernan. He's got plenty of space outside him and throws the intercept. Picked off there by, I think, Tony Hunt. And under a minute to go here. Bond with the feed. Looking to go for the pushover. But the Eagles with a little bit of resistance here. Plenty of space on this blind side. Goes to Menzies. Too easy. Camp. Oh. <laughs> Menzies, what have you done? Oh, my God. What was that? 
That was woeful. <laughs> I don't know if that was as bad as Fraser last week, though. That was still oh, pretty God. bloody terrible. Well, look, we have a look at the stats here. We've got 72% possession for Bond. However, territory-wise, things are going north way with 64%. Chapo, mate, uh, limited opportunity so far. What have we got to do to get the Eagles back into this clash, mate? Just our backs aren't getting sorted. Only having, like, two people out and can't spread the ball wide. So, I don't know what's going on there. Just just give the ball to Vookie, mate. That's all there is <laughs> to it, mate. Simple game plan. Get the pill in Vookie's hands. But it'll be Mitch Third here getting us underway. And the score remains still only 7-0, but they've let it bounce. And Pritchard comes tearing through. Gets that pill back for Bon Uni. And Get Gordon goes in. Go. Too easy. Puts that ball down. Finally. <laughs> Three minutes into the second half, and it's just easy points there for Bon Uni. We'll say, mate, uh, big Adam Gowder. He's been active on the social media in isolation, mate. Uh, the boys giving him any stick for his uh, social presence, mate? Oh, look, I'm sure there's no doubt about that. <laughs> it's from the Gold Coast. They all do it, mate. You, if, you don't go surfing unless you get up a GoPro video. Yeah, yeah fair exactly. enough. All right. If you didn't film it, didn't you? <laughs> That's it. Isn't that what they say? If you don't film it, did it actually happen? Very true, very true. Fair enough. He's got a good rig, though. You can ask Josh out of car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 30. Off oh, the post. it's off the uprights. Oh. oh. What a bludger of a kick there from Mitch Third. Cut him, hook him. Get him out of there. Absolutely useless from Mitch Third. <laughs> Go back to Get Bali. <laughs> But it'll be Nick Chapman getting us underway again. This is you, Chapo, is it? Wearing the number nine jersey? I think so. No, I think I'm eight, actually. Number eight. Just a yeah, versatile right. guy. Van Brecht goes tall once again. And the pick and go. Oh. Short ball finds Blythe. Oh. Blythe down the right-hand side is picked up and smoked. Now you know we're playing virtual rugby when that happens. Oh, mate, Varissa Matitini is one of the best defenders in the virtual game, mate. And the real game. <laughs> moi, moi. Pritchard. Zimbabwean Sevens representative gets hit hard just outside that 15-metre line. And Bond now have those numbers once again. Papworth with the bounce pass. Shocking. Jeez. Pappy's got to work on that right-to-left pass. There's space on the blind here. If they go that way, and they have Moi, Moi and Papworth. Former leaguey looking to put it on the toe. Does just that. And here comes Kinnan. Kinnan puts it on the toe as well. Kinnan. Try time. Corbin Kinnan. How good is that? Oh, with those FIFA skills, you wouldn't have thought he had a busted leg this time last year. Wow. No, Corbin Kinnan absolutely showing some serious skill here. It started there with Papworth putting it on the toe. We thought Norse were going to pick it up. They go again. And that's just poor, poor stuff there from the Eagles. And unfortunately for them, Corbin Kinn and Johnny on the spot picks up the five-pointer. Now, Will so mate, obviously Kinn had a pretty rough year last year, footy-wise, mate, with a couple of back-to-back -back injuries. Uh, anyone who was at that Bond game where he broke his leg, uh, it wasn't a pleasant sight to see. Uh, is there any news on how the big guy's going in rehab, mate? Can we expect him back hopefully come July? Uh, look, I haven't... I haven't seen uh, Corbin in a, while, in a while, but um, uh, I caught up with for a bit on the Bond camp, uh, preseason Bond camp, and he's looking good and looking fit. So uh, hopefully, hopefully back at training, or we'll, uh, see how he's coming along. And yeah, hopefully he's not out for too much longer. Right, he's, he's yeah, fingers no crossed he is all good. He's absolutely filth, is Corbin Cannon, an absolute yeah. superstar down there on the Gold Coast. So fingers crossed he'll be good to get back into the mix that comes July 1st. But back to the virtual space right now, 19-0. Chapo, you said before the game you had a few realistic goals. Was one of those goals scoring any points whatsoever? Because it's not looking it very realistic at the moment. <laughs> I'm lucky! Give a so I've just heard you haven't scored a point since round one against Eli Pills. Is that the case, Chapo? That is, that is correct, so... Small goals, setting small goals. 
Jesus. How sad. All right, well, fingers crossed you can pick up some points here today. Here we go. North. Oh, God, Chapo. Come on, mate. What the hell was that? All right, he fielded well there, Joey Finnick. You're a sucker for punishment, Chapo. You keep coming <laughs> back you? every week, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought that was going to be an intercept there, but Van Brecht is able to pick that one up. North flooding the breakdown. Can sniff a turnover. And here we go now. Advantage. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Just can't help it. Oh, wow. shocking hands there. Was that Vressa Mattitini? I think so. I think, I think so. so. Slippery pill out there today, it seems, for the Thank Eagles. You. Yeah, on a dry track. Who would have thought? <laughs> And Bond now with a good opportunity to work their way out of their own 22 and they're putting some serious pressure on here at scrum time. Liam Dillon looks to run that little play down that 8 9 15. Pop pass is fielded well there off his shoelaces for Corbin Cannon. Blythe. It takes it himself. Absolutely oh. lit up on the 15 metre line. I hope you pass the ball better than your virtual self, Blythe. And there's the turnover. North with a good opportunity here. Jordan Tuapu. Jordan Tuapu goes straight through, baby. Woo! Has Chapo oh, just unlocked an achievement? Yeah. <laughs> How's it feel, Chapo? Oh, it was Harley Fox at open side flanker. What Look at this. Clean up on the Fox. Few positions are mi mixed up around today. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. Just trying try new things because it wasn't Massive working. Massive open side window. flanker you're say, right out there. Keep you as big as open side flanker. <laughs> Look at this. A seven Harley could be mistaken Fox. for a one. Oh, how good, baby. How's it feel, Chapo? You feeling good, man? You for it. Have you got another two in you in the final eight minutes of this match? <laughs> no, nah, that's another five weeks down the track, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Looking to add the extras, and they've done just there. that. 19 points play, seven. It's Kieran Prado adding the extras. Mitch third getting us underway once again. Looking to go short here. And it holds up in the breeze, but it's fielded well there from the Eagles. And here we go. Straight through. Is that Kenny Taviri? Go, Chapo! Put it down! Yes! Up the Eagles! <laughs> We've got a game on our hands here, saucy boy. Wow, we who would have thought? <laughs> it was only about a minute ago we were ribbing you, mate. Jesus. Well, there's an opportunity Ooh. here now for Norse. How about that? Well, How about mate, that little shimmy? We did say that you're a sucker for punishment, mate. Maybe you just needed some harsh words. Watch this here. That's Fielded it. on the full there. Ken Tavieri goes straight through. And watch this. Boss. See the you later. work of the man. <laughs> straight through. With a kick to come here for Prado to add the extras and bring it into within a five-point game. Here, got to kick it quick, Chapo. To go, minutes going down. That's the extras. Yes, he oh, does. And the there's the hooter buzzer. in the background. I wouldn't be looking so chuffed there, Kieran Prado. Because <laughs> that yeah, is no full time. Up. 19 points, plays 14. Bond Uni over the North Eagles. And Source, once again, mate, we see Bond coming away with the buttered confection, and that sees them stay on top of the ladder for another week. Look, mate, there's no denying the boys from the Gold Coast. Something in the water down there, mate. I think not, they're just huge just gibbons. Sharks. Massive gibbons love their gaming. Can't help but think it, but you can see it right there. Menzies, Kin, and Angolda against Fox and Taviri. The try score is four norths there. And look, Chapo, unfortunately, mate, you did get those two tries, but it was too little too late. Yeah, double what I was, thought I was going to get. 
but just slowly get the hang of it. So maybe in the next couple of weeks, we'll see how we go, eh? Look, small, small wins, Jay. Small wins. He wanted That's one it. try, he got two. You Good can man. go celebrate, Thank mate. The, K- well the KPIs, mate, they've been ticked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Will say, mate. What I want to know is, uh, despite the fact we've had a range of different people from Bond play, you all seem to be playing out of the same room every week, mate. Uh, yeah, good internet, I guess. Oh, good internet. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> well, you guys all just, um, all just bumming off uh, non-gore in isolation, mate. Never, never. Never, never. <laughs> anyway, yeah, lads, no. it was a fantastic game. Chapo, Wilso, thanks very much for joining us, fellas. Thanks for having us, guys. No Cheers, worries. Boys. Wonderful. All righty, ladies and gentlemen. Well, there we have it. We have our first fixture of round six of Hospital Challenge V for all the round six action. But we've got our second match coming up right now. And Source is with our two next competitors. Who we got, Source? Yes, Jay. We are here with our second game of round six. It's a clash between the Mighty East Tigers and UQ. And of course, I had to get someone special in from the Tigers this week, mate. And we've welcomed back one of Club Rugby's greatest personalities, Tommy Milosevic. He's come back to Australia from the UK. How are you, mate? Saucy, I'm good, mate. Keen, keen to get involved. Had a few practice sessions today. That's good, mate. That's good. Because my initial intention was to find someone from UQ who was going to be easy for you to beat. <laughs> unfortunately, Harry Hawkins was uh, was busy. So, unfortunately, mate, you've got um, the man with the sharpest guns in the Western suburbs, John O'Hides, <laughs> who uh, is yet to drop a match, mate. So, You're uh, going to get pumped, Tommy. <laughs> You're going to get so thinking... pumped. Mate, he's got a proper headset. I'm burnt. <laughs> That's when you know he's a serious gamer. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Oh, I apologise to the Tigers community in advance. This I'm could surprised anything Mike could happen. Doesn't have a cord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Geez, big talk! I got to got to back this up now. Pressure's on. <laughs> nah, mate. There's no pressure whatsoever, Jono. You'll be sweet, brother. Jeez. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. University of Queensland taking to the field against the East. Tigers typically over the last sort of better part of a decade been one of the fiercest rivalries with two of the best teams going toe to toe so it'll be interesting to see how they go today with Tommy Milosevic and John O'Hides picking up the sticks today well, the uh, interesting stats probably if you go back through the last sort of three, four seasons I think it's one apiece each club's won their home fixture. So UQ's been winning at UQ. But East have had their number at Tigers. So let's see what happens to that. Well, it'll be interesting to see what happens with the digital space, Saucy Release. Boy. But the Tigers field that one well. And there's a short ball there. Yes, to, Tommy. To Teller. Release. Michael Gunn it looks like stepping into half pack. How's the dive pass? How good. Another short ball there. It's slow going here for the Tigers. You can throw a blanket over all of them. They're all compressed so much out here. Isolated, but they've done well to get that pill back. And heavy defense coming in here from the students. Another dive pass there from Pills. And Gun. Cops a shot. And there's the turnover now. It's Mellor in at halfback. Plenty of numbers on the left here. Birch finds Edwards. It's the third grade hooker. 3GH all the way, baby. First touch. Try time for the students. Can't help but think that that's going to be flavour of the day here, Sauce. Tommy just holding on to position, mate. Oh, the vision from Hides. Spectacular. Good defence there from the fullback there, Tom Milosevic. What happened there, brother? I think Shane, Shane Kennedy is going to find himself picking splinters out of his ass for the rest of the season. That's terrible. <laughs> Fair enough. Did anyone else just pick up on uh, Jono Hides talking up virtual Jono Hides? 
That is this ultimate crowd. loser right denial. <laughs> he wasn't going to let you get away with that one, mate. <laughs> Lines up the kick perfectly. Oh, is that you, Heidi? 13. No, no, he's oh. number two, mate. He's a hooker. Oh, I was going to say, wait, so it's not Mel or a hooker, it's you. <laughs> no, it's the big Dotto Hides with guns like that, mate. He ain't here playing outside centre. Oh, wow. Brampton is set to get us underway oh, here. Oh, yeah, no, you weren't here last week when, when I got the call up. Oh, is yeah, that what happened? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. And he actually gave himself a call up. Good man. <laughs> Kai Oates now. And there's yes, the turnover. Tommy. Go, Pilsy. <laughs> Absolutely pumped. But the Tigers now with a good opportunity. First time inside oh. the uni half. And they've turned it over. That McDermott now finds rough. plenty of acreage back there. Gets the Tigers turned around. And Lily Crap comes Ooh. charging after that one. Tigers doing well to get back here. Short ball. Absolutely smoked there in midfield. Oh, what's the technique there? There's another turnover. Wallace now. Oates. With the show and go, but he's hit hard from the covering D. Lily crap. Short ball there. Melor finds Hines. McDermott. Oh. And Birch goes straight through. Last line of defense. But Jock Campbell tiptoes down that right hand touchline and extends the lead 12 0 for the students. And it's pretty grim stuff here thus far for the Tigers. Uh, it's been a long time since Rugby was out, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Tommy, you're not mate, that I've got Smokey in that one, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, how's the wow. chirp? Jesus. How good is the chirp? Keep it coming, Jono. Extra, extra skip. <laughs> extra skip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, it's gonna be a long arvo. Oats. Smashes that one straight through the uprights. Too easy there for the young outside centre. 14 nil now. Frampton looking to get us underway. Frampton's looking all right. Eh? He's got a tan there. Let's look that. Look, mate, he's a good looking bloke in the virtual and real world. <laughs> easy source. Put your shirt back on. <laughs> Jack Frampton is safe. Oh, how's that not a turnover? Frampton. <laughs> Paxton Hall. Oh, Amish Richardson. There's the intercept. Well picked up there. Was that Puke Garland? Oh, there's Puke. the turnover. A third grade hooker. Edwards puts that one on the toe. Bloody Puke. Oh, puts point. it on the toe. Oh. The wrong way. The Tigers now having to work their way out of the own oh, 22 that and that's a box shocking kick. box kick <laughs> fielded there by bj oates hawkins goes in to be world's tallest second uh, what is it halfback that's what i'm thinking short ball finds oates mcdermott campbell pumped on the 15. isolated but the students do well to get that pill back paxton hall Hides! Oh, Get no. smoked! Classic Jono Hides! <laughs> Hands like feet. Shocking work there from Jono Hides. Back to fourth grade for Jono Hides, I say. No, he doesn't want to play source. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> now that is the biggest case of losing the I've ever heard. Well, <laughs> Taking a lot of pressure off me, boys. That's Keep it up. <laughs> All right, first scrum of the day. The Tigers asserting some dominance here, but the students do well to bury in. Pretty hectic sounds coming out of that scrum, not going to lie. Tigers, mate, we love our scrums. 
up to put it Off on the out. toe, out on the floor! Oh, I don't want it, boys. <laughs> <laughs> well, that rounds out the first half here. We see the score. Uni, 14-0 over East Tigers. Possession very much even, but that territory source, 80% to the students. Just too high there, brother. Tommy, you got to get the boys to the other end, mate. <laughs> Mate, I didn't realise it was half time. Are we a 40 minute half source? What's going on? <laughs> None of us want to watch you get pumped that bad, mate. <laughs> We've tried to give you a short window here, mate. <laughs> yeah, we want to make it a game. swift kill, but it'll be Frampton <laughs> getting us underway. Oh, not good. There's the intercept. Here we go. Oh, go, Micah. Teller. Oh, God. <laughs> Terrible. Absolutely yeah. terrible stuff there from back East. To go back to go South. Back to South. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this could no. be an ugly throw oh, here. Is no, this from no. Hides? Oh, Surely that's right. not straight. Oh, the referee the says hell? play oh, on McDermott. <laughs> 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 Campbell now finds his oh. wing partner in Edwards, and Edwards is in the backfield. There's no one covering. Jeez. Sam Edwards, baby, picks up his second try of the day. Can we please go back to that line out? <laughs> surely, surely there's got to be a referral system. I've seen Tom's brother Nico throw straight out line out balls in that, mate. Hey, come on now. <laughs> but there it is, That's all too is. easy. Once 3GH is in the backfield, there's no stopping him. Gets straight through. Puts that one down. To extend Jesus. that lead, 19 nil over the Tigers. Source is going to be 21 nil very shortly. Your boys not doing too well, mate. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, keep it down over there. But Tommy, mate, 21 nil with half an hour to go in this second half. What's doing, brother? What's the game plan to try and actually get on the board here? Mate, I think I've got to keep the ball out of Mika Teller's hands. A lot of loose yeah. carries really damaging the ball. Shane Kennedy needs to really pick up his effort defensively. <laughs> <laughs> Few work on Sky again. The Burdick and Kane Toad, Shane Kennedy. Townsville Turnstile. What? <laughs> <laughs> Throwing barbs here, Sauce. I like it, mate. No, I love Shane, eh? Yeah, sure, mate. Whatever helps you sleep at night. Melor finds Edwards. Edwards! One on one with Kennedy. There we go. Yeah, Shane there Kennedy. We go. Good yeah, defensive good effort word. there at the back there. From the tall fullback. Turn into a well locked gate. <laughs> oh, that's loose. Oh, how do you kick it? Oh, here we yes. go. Gun. Territory here, Tommy. Use it. Great position here for the Tigers. They've got to get this pill back, though. It's slow going. And there's a turnover. Looping oh, pass no. here. Packs it all. Finds Oates. Plenty oh, of space. What? <laughs> that pass <laughs> <laughs> There's no turnover. No. Oh, <laughs> yes, damn it. massive oh, shot. No. Pumped. Oh, baby, how good is this? There's another turnover. <laughs> <laughs> turn now. Birch. To no one. Oh, back in to find McDermott. Just flood the ruck, Tommy. <laughs> Packs it all now. Oh, that's Melor. Oh, oh no. <laughs> She's just laid on That's Melor in more ways than one. <laughs> oh, what is happening? All righty. Let's see if the students can build some phases here. McDermott gets absolutely scissored in half there. Jeez. Hides, short ball. Good pass Forward there from pass. Hides. <laughs> Absolute <laughs> hospital pill, though, that's for sure. Can we get a compass on that? <laughs> Murray. Oh. Oh. McDermott looking to get those hands free and able to... Oh, yes! So. Michael Gunn now! Gunny brought down from behind and his opposite number, Murray, with the turnover. And there's another turnover. <laughs> yeah, get it downfield, territory. Oh! oh! What a kick! Yeah. Oh, what? what? You're kidding me. That was definitely taken out by uni. Oh, oh these virtual God. refs are cooked, mate. Oh, jeez. That, that's... Oh, I'll take it. <laughs> Campbell 
hammers that one deep. Don't Tigers, lazy stuff here from the Tigers. Flick pass finds Murray. Coming into the final 10 minutes of the match. And there's some defense that we've been wanting to see all day. Heavy shoulders there in midfield from the Tigers. And Twydale. Good turn over there. Teller. Sandy. Sandy. Opts to go for the kick and is dispatched heavily. Love to see it. Twydale now. Oates. Got a man outside him. Edwards. Back in field to Kai Oates. And it's try time there for Kai Oates. And this is an absolute bloodbath and a half here. Sees the lead now 26-0 with a kick to come. And it's a good interchange of hands here. To the outside, then back in to find Oates. Maybe looking to add the extras to his own try. You're awfully quiet over there, Source. Oh. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone into your lunchbox table. <laughs> oh, wow. Jono. Yeah. Shoot barbs. Can't can add the extras, Can though. I point out, it was J-Boy that was looking for snacks between games. Yeah, it was delicious. Yeah. I ate some sultanas. <laughs> nature's candy. Out of snacks. I had a Subway cookie. It was delicious. But back to the action. We'll talk about my snacks next game. Frampton with the kickoff. The Tigers do well to get that back. Teller now. Let's see if they can add their first points One of try, the Tommy. game. One try. Short ball. Oh, pumped. Absolutely pumped. It was Hawkins in midfield putting that shot on. Kennedy adds himself Kennedy, in from full back that. and gets absolutely lit up. Well behind the ad line. Oh, Look shimmy! Forward. Biggie Sammy Richards. Was it... I hope so. Oh, how am I always losing this pill? <laughs> <laughs> Nick Dermott opts to bury There's that no one there. into touch. Oh, and makes it a kill for the ages. 26-0. The students <laughs> over the Tigers. And Source, your beloved Tigers, just on the day, were absolutely woeful, shocking, terrible, the worst I've ever seen and deserved <laughs> all of them to be cut. Look, mate, we were set up to fail, you know. I'm trying to get some... Some notable first grade blokes in here who spend more time actually playing footy than on the PlayStation. Oh, Whereas the Red Heavies are playing to the strikes and they're going to the blokes who are clearly up till bloody all hours at night, the headset on, talking to someone over in Eastern Europe playing COD. I don't know. Mate, you are salty. <laughs> so salty. But Tommy, mate, what the hell no, was that, well. man? Mate, I don't know. Piss poor preparation, I think. Blame Source. Terrible coaching. You're right. I do blame Source. And Jono, mate. The commentator, that was a nice a coach, season mate. one for you. Blew the cobwebs <laughs> out. 26 nil. You've got to be chuffed with that, brother. Yeah, no, nah, pretty good. Mate, three from three. Can't complain. At what point is your singlet going to grow some sleeves, mate? <laughs> you are so salty, Source. So salty, dude. <laughs> the Tigers will win. <laughs> Oh, oh you're one sad, sad man. Oh. But yeah, Tommy, Jono, thanks very much for joining us, lads. Appreciate it. Cool. No worries, Cheers, boys. Wonderful. All right, there we have it, folks. Our second fixture of round six of Hospital Challenge Cup V. But don't go anywhere because coming up right now is our third fixture of the day, and it is brothers going toe to toe with the Gallopers. Source, who have we got with us? It is Brothers versus GPS. In a regular Queensland Premier League rugby season, this would be one of our most well-attended matches, whether it's at Crossview Park or at Yoku Road. This time, it's the virtual version, and folks will be tuning in from the couch. And we've got Brad Kappa from Brothers joining us and Ruben Fonlow joining us once again after he delivered one of the greatest moments in QPR history last week. Freddie, Freddie Bird dropped, dropped goal, goal, baby! Who would have thought? Oh, mate, it was fantastic. I know he was actually pretty sheepish online about it, to be honest. But um, he's a, he's a true uh, connoisseur of the dark arts of the front row, mate. He's not about that kicking life. 
Oh, mate, it was fantastic, though. Absolutely fantastic. Hopefully you can pull that one out of the top shelf once again, Ruben. But for now, it'll be up to Saifaloi to get us underway for the brethren. As we kick things off, Brad, can I ask, has anyone had a word to Fraser about his rubbish performance? Yeah. Yeah, he tried to, but I think he kind of expected that one. <laughs> yeah, Let that one goes. go through to the keeper. We knew it was coming. We'll let him stick to actual yeah. footy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the Gallopers now with this first opportunity. They're doing well getting up towards their own 10 metre line. Breaking a few tackles here and there, but Lawson. <laughs> yep, seen a touch. Let's go to a light out. Off to a good start there, Brad. What's up, man? I'm uh, just trying to get the tactics in the line out. Just uh, a little bit of a weakness here, so we'll see. Yeah, true. Yeah, that's smart. Ooh. Oh, here we yeah. go. Throwing this could be genius. Oh, yeah. brilliant yeah. play yeah. there by Brad Capper. That's good leadership. Tactical, tactical. Crouch. Find. Set. And we brothers now with defeat in the first scrum of the day. Wilson at the back. But here comes the Gallopers doing what they do best. Oh. And That's there's the tight over. head. Absolute stinger there for Brothers. And there's plenty of space outside now. And here we go. Jeeps now. Down this left-hand touch side. Fraser McWright only about six or seven metres offside at that breakdown there. And Wilson, good. good shot there. Jeeps playing a very expansive game here. And Jeeps what was Stixie doing? Absolutely <laughs> stitched up. Shocking work there from Stixie. But who's that that scored in the corner there? Longapoa, the new man on the sting, picks up the first five pointer. Of the day, it'll be up to John O'Kent to add the extras. I know they're running a strange setup here. Wunga Wulungi at fly half, John O'Kent at half back, but the lefty looking to add the extras and nails that one from near the touchline. Good stuff there from John O'Kent. Awesome. John O'Kent featured on our Club Rugby Collective podcast this week. Did he? Yeah, he uh, gave us one of his famous Jeffrey Falimi impersonations. <laughs> Marlo. <laughs> it's uh, one for fans to look forward to on the uh, the radio bandwidth this week. Silly work there. Was that big Smithy? Hands in the ruck. Jeeps going for the quick tap. Kent. Here we go. Plenty of space now. Plenty of space and they still throw it straight into touch. Good stuff there from the Gallopers. That's why you don't put a Mori Wanga Vilangi a fly half. <laughs> Opting to go for the five man line out, climbing high. Finofuiaki pulls that one in well. Ralphie Avalu. Ralphie. Ugly pass there, but it's snapped up by the youngster, Josh Fluke. Brothers now. Wall. Paddy James absolutely pumped by Jiquel. Matty Fazler with the offload. Kappa. Good <laughs> And Kappa oh, yeah. throws it to absolutely no one. And Mick Wright with the turnover, but hammers that one straight into touch. Mm -hmm. Ugly stuff thus far, Source. Trust Fraser to come in and do something bloody... Stupid like that. ...untoward. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna get him some PlayStation lessons. Oh geez, here we go. That's a shocker. Just throwing meat pies today. <laughs> that was an absolute bludger of a throw there. It'll be interesting Crouch. to see what they do here, brothers. Mind. Opting to go for the scrum. Set. Is that the number ten there at loose head prop? Uh, uh, Looks like it. Maybe. Good stuff. Rowan Cyphaloy is just switching things up. Stepping up and putting in an almighty shift. Wall off the back finds Fluke, who gets absolutely smoked. Release. 
Brothers now having to work their way out of their own 22 and struggling with it. Surely that's a turnover. Jeeps not even attempting to get that pill there. Fezla beats one, beats two, but it's driven back in the tackle. Brad Capita halfback. Ralston dragged down inside that 22. Still, brothers trying to get over that line. Kappa finds Fluke now. Show and go, Brad. You were away, mate. Whoa. <laughs> 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 oh, God. Quick tap here from Jeeps. Got plenty of numbers. But <laughs> just down. Release. Looked like he was running in quicksand there of the tight head prop. You got to kick, Berkey. It's your strength, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Big Sunia Finofiwiaki. Breaks that first tackle, but can't break the second. The Gallopers now. The pencil offloads that one to no one, but it's picked up well by the Gallopers. Looking to build some phases, but the brothers' defensive line has been... All too strong. Tupo marks that one. Cypherloo <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> ah! crunched. Goes for the quick tap and gets murdered. Absolutely deleted and turns it over. Oh, oh wow, baby. That's some better defense on the brethren. Last line of defense. Good stuff there from Brothers. Does well to keep that score just to a seven-point ball game. And Source, look at the territory from Brothers. It's been all the brethren thus far. Well, mate, this is probably our closest match of the afternoon so far. Uh, a very interesting clash here. Um, I'm going to maybe just back GPS to uh, to edge this one out, mate. The defensive Sunia Fini Fawaki at the moment. He's murdering him. He's in form, is big Sunia. But no, I'm backing in the brethren. Uh, no, let's make that Jeeps. Yeah, <laughs> Jeeps have got this. Come on, Brad. What the hell? Yeah, hey, 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 here we go. <laughs> yes, try time Marlou. for the Gallopers. <laughs> nice. All too stuff easy there in the end. From the Gallopers. It's Alfonso Horomaya. So, yeah, prop. <laughs> yep. <laughs> But it'll be John O'Kent now, the lefty, looking to add the extras. Oh. Over the black oh, dog. Oh, John O, baby. Good stuff there from John O'Kent. 14 0. The gallop is over, brothers. Cyphaloy opting for the short one there. But fielded well there by the pencil. Here we go now, Jeeps. Another good opportunity deep inside the brothers' half. Crichton fields that well, but turns it over in the contact. And Finofuiaki unable to hold on to that pill there. Crouch. Bind. It's just me or his ribbon wall look like he's got frosted tips in this game. <laughs> Things you do in ISO, hey, Sauce. Just a little throwback to the 90s, mate. I love it. Light hair, I'd frost my tips every day of the week. <laughs> frost your beard, baby? No, I wouldn't do that. That's crazy. Oh, oh here we go. Fluke to absolutely no one. On the toe. Logapoa pumped by Criff Tupo. Offside. Nah, that was flat. And the turnover, Paddy. Oh, wow. Stixy, what are you doing? Tip, tip. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Jeep's line out hasn't been too good all day. Throwing meat pies today. And again. And it's got to remain pretty dodgy, that's for sure. Not straight. There we have it, referee. Not straight. <laughs> Ugly stuff there from the Gallopers. And now a short man here for... Brothers. Oh, Maddie oh, Fazla. Fazla. What is happening? Great, we just went straight to a scrum. Thank you. Cut out the middle man. <laughs> that sound 
it's so funny. <laughs> Jeeps now. <laughs> Those virtual scrums, they'll get you. <laughs> oh, oh, and a set to Po! Oh, yeah, God. Boston, no one. <laughs> that was long, too. God, we don't need another line out. Oh. Oh, oh, we got this. Here we go. Oh, oh Kappa climbs high and is drilled from behind. And turnover. Jeeps. Good opportunity here. Kent. Break yes. one. Yes, Jono Kent. Oh, how good. Marlo. Good stuff there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. From Jono Kent. The self proclaimed funniest man in the western suburbs. He is a pretty <laughs> funny bloke, I'll give him that. That's true. That's good stuff there. Jono Kent. Absolutely killing it. 100% with the boot. Adds try. And he should be able to nail this one. Whether it's got the legs not or not. Oh, my God. Got a hold of that one, Jono. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but Cypheloy... With ball in hand. Tupo climbs high. Ten minutes left on the clock. Can we see brothers claw their way back into this one? Not with Ruben Wall getting lit up in midfield like that, that's for sure. Surely that's a turnover. Referee says play on. Tupo bumps off one. Wilson off the back. Find Smith. Brothers now with probably their best opportunity of the day. Mick Wright driven back by his opposite number. And turnover ball now. Kent. Here come Jeeps. Kappa fended off with ease. Terrible effort there from Brad Kappa. Oh, box kick. Don't you love it? Mark taken by Lawson Crichton. And quick tap. Cyphaloy, last time he did that, he got absolutely smashed. Better work there from the fly half. So it looks like it could be a turnover. Coming. Yes, it is. Jigwell off the back. Oh, here Enjoy we go. Is this the pencil? The pencil oh. goes over with the hooter going in the background. There he is. El Capitan. The Michael talismanic Richards. skipper. One Gets of... the pill here from Jiquel. <laughs> Straight through. Sticks the arm out. Just the leader of the Richards clan. Absolutely killing it. Absolutely chopping up. Is the big man. And that'll see. 24 plays, blot, and Ruben I hope going for the long-range bomb. Strikes it well. Has it got the legs? No, it hasn't. Under the sticks. Can't add the extra. No, he's nailed no, it. He's nailed it. Oh, he's oh. done it. 60 meter bomb from John O'Kent. Absolutely smash it! What were the touchies doing? They're just too amazed, mate. Too amazed. He can't strike him from in front, but take him 60 out. Yeah. John O'Kent with the 60 metre conversion! Woo! How good is that? That sees the final of this blockbusting third match of round six of Queensland Premier Rugby V between brothers and the Gallopers. 26 points to nil. That sees brothers cement their place on the bottom of the ladder and go two weeks in a row without getting a point on the board. Brad, mate, we thought Fraser was bad. You are absolutely horrific. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought Fraser was bad. 
Yeah, on that note, Ruben, mate, two weeks in a row now we've seen some absolutely stellar stuff. Obviously, Freddie Burke's uh, match-winning drop goal last week and then right there after the siren, a 60-metre conversion from uh, John O'Kent. Mate, you've got the gift, that's for sure. Yeah, well, that's the first game I ever got position. So I actually got to play some footy this time. So it's good. Good. And uh, classic Jono. I just thought that'd be a Jono Kent thing to do. So, that would definitely yeah. be a Jono Kent thing to do. But, lads, Brad, Ruben, thanks very much for joining us, lads. We appreciate it. Thanks, boys. Cheers. Cheers, fellas. Have a good one. Well, there we have it, folks. Game three is in the books. And coming up next is our fourth and final fixture of Hospital Challenge Cup v Round 6. And it is an absolute belter. It is the Southside Derby between the Magpies and the Dragons. The Saucy Boy, who you got with us, mate? Yes, Jay, that is right. It is time for our fourth and final clash of Round 6 of Hospital Challenge Cup v. It is the Southside Derby between the Mighty Dragons and the Magpies. Joining us this week, we've got Lee Shreko Island back again mainly because we can't find anyone else from South who's wanting to get on the PlayStation. So, Shreko, welcome back. Hey, come on, boys. i got some game. It's all right, mate. You started the stitch-up scenario, mate, last week yourself, so we're just rolling on with it. And then from Sunny, mate, we've got a Tui, Tusap. Tui, how are you, mate? Yeah, good, thanks, Saucy. All good, mate. Now, you got Sunnybank back in the winner's circle the last time you played, mate, uh, after the bye, helping him climb up the ladder. How are we feeling heading into this week's game? Mate, I'm yeah, feeling pretty good, uh, eh? ready, ready to go. Pipe down, Shrek. That was for Tui, mate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Let's all get right. this going, Hit boys. Let's get Hit stuck start. in, boys. Southside Derby time. Uh, this is going to go off Let's like go. a frog in a sock. We've got the Southside Derby South up against Sunnybank. This is going to be an absolute yeah, well, a, of a match. Hey, first Dylan Shrek, are you into Sunnybank? it? Mate, What's my that? first uh, game was for Sunnybank at Colts 1. How really? many clubs Back, have you uh, played for? Three. And the rest. Sunnybank, South and West. And Widham. What about the Bugs, mate? <laughs> oh, mate they're, they're, they're actually, Widham Bugs, mate, will always hold a... Uh, a big part of my heart. I, they actually, I got to refine the love of the game back there, coaching and playing. So, up the got bugs, mate. The love for the for the winning bugs, yeah. Mate, the bugs is good gas out there, out in Winham. Mate, it's we had a good time there, last time sure. you came out there. That yeah, was, mate, uh, it's good fun. gas, brother. I was in fine <laughs> fiddle. <laughs> All righty, let's so get let's get this Southside Derby underway. We've got Liravel to get us underway, and he hammers that one. Deep, very deep. The field of well there by Lucas. And it's slow pill now. Oh, shot! Whoa. And the turnover. Billy Rutherford! Can he get there? Yes, he can! Three minutes in. First touch for the Magpies. And the youngster, Billy Rutherford, sneaks in. For an early five-pointer, saucy boy, how about it? Self in your mouth. <laughs> Check Made it out. training and at game time, he's always having a sneaky run. Love it. How's uh, Billy Rutherford been doing, Shreko? He's obviously the young halfback that was part of that South uh, Prem Cold side that came away with the uh, buttered confection at the end of last year. How's he May doing to step up? One. Mate, um, mate, as I said, like always loves to have a, has, has a snipe, so especially someone like myself who can get lazy around that one position, mate. He's always, uh, he's always chewing me up with some meters. So he <laughs> no, likes to target the old Shreko, does he? <laughs> yeah, you're speaking to two fellow it. fat men here. Uh, Shreko, Actually, so uh, Shreko got dropped in this game. I've changed. I've got um, Francis and uh, yeah, Tidehead, and I've got big uh, Joey Belonga at Loosehead. So oh, heavy uh, hitters still, mate. Yeah, oh, mate. Good. <laughs> Some you were lucky to even be in the mix of there, Shaco, to be honest. <laughs> oh, mate, I'm just, I'm just there. Oh, I'm happy to be a part of the, the lads, mate. Good bunch of boys. <laughs> mate, if I've got a pill, if I, mate, if I've got a, if I've got a pill of oranges, mate, I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> Fair enough. 
Well, there's your replacement right there, Big Jonah Palonga, fielding that one. Viliani oh. Leia puts that one down. So we'll be going to a scrum here. Early oh. touches for Big Leia, but puts that pill Crouch. down. So, first Five. scrum of the game. We'll see the Dragons Set. with the feed. Good stuff here from the Dragons. Plenty of numbers out to the left. But they're all gone now somehow. But there's the offload right. Oh, oh my God. God. Absolutely pumped by Samoa. Who oh, then proceeds on. to knock that ball on. But absolutely <laughs> lit up in the backfield. <laughs> Who was that? Was that Zachy Lucas that got pumped to him? Yeah. <laughs> Unlucky. <laughs> Unlucky. <laughs> Unlucky. Here we go now. The Dragons with another good opportunity here deep inside the 22. McNamara. Ball is bouncing around all over the place here. But Leia comes in with a good shot. Yeah, penalty all day. Leia, he's off to a bludger of a Star Trek. Oh, what's doing, mate? Oh, mate, don't worry about him. He'll come home strong. He's all, I've all got faith in my in my second son at Souths. Princess Freya's a big fan of Viliami Leia, isn't she? Mate, she, her favourite number's 11, so um, she knows I, well. I used to play with Namani at Sunnybank, actually, um, Nandolo, and... Um, yeah, and uh, she's definitely jumped on the wagon at um, Souths with with the 11, so I'm pretty pretty stoked with that. He's actually a good young lad. Good stuff. Another one of the young Colts from last year. <laughs> Missing that tackle. Ah, oh. <laughs> and letting it a try. Yeah, no, he's real good, Trekker. Good stuff, mate. You're making him look real good out here, brother. Oh, Billy. <laughs> Absolute stinger, but Hayden Sargent goes in and picks up the first five pointer for the Dragons. And right here, hit, no stick, bounces out. Sargent shimmies off the right, and try time too easy for the seven specialists right there. Hayden Sargent, watch this. Bus, terrible effort. <laughs> and then bang off the right, straight through. See you later. Straight past yeah, Samoa. Control. Uh, you keep playing like that, Shrekko. Freya's definitely going to end up in an e-shirt. Mate, every time you say Freya, I bloody, I, I bloody, I'm like a deer in the headlights and I just crumble. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> You'll you, be right, Shrekko. You brought that on your shelf, mate. And there we go. Shelf the extras self. are added. Uh, self, Same self. thing. <laughs> 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 it's, getting, it's getting too late on a bloody in the evening for us, lads. It is, mate. It's getting on. It is our fourth and final fixture of round six of Hospital Challenge Cup V. The Southside Derby still seven points apiece as we come into the 30th minute. And Lucan Salakai Lotto gets that turnover there. So the Magpies now with a great opportunity here, just taking their time and go to that open side. Fletcher hit hard. There's still plenty of options here for the South Magpies. And looking to put that one on the toe. And unable to add the extra. Shreko, you saw Freddie Burke last week add the extras, nah, mate. I was Couldn't supposed to replicate. go to the 10. This, Angus was there, and I thought it was going to go to the 10. So I was going for the sneaky drop goal, and it backfired. So. Stinger, mate. But opportunity now for the Dragons. Working their way out of their own 22. And straight off the back goes McNamara. Puts that oh. one on the toe. It's an ugly shoe. But it's wrapped up there by Rutherford, who is smoked by, I think that was Shepard. And there's a the turnover right there. That's exactly what they needed. And here yes. we go. Offload. Sula Siosi gets the intercept there. Souths now chancing their hand. Fail I saw it here is smoke there. And here we go. Is that try time? Is that Iwani? Puni Iwani over in the corner. 
And how's that for an absolute bounce back there from the Dragons? Boss! And then the turnover here. Tighthead props doing all the hard work, mate. Yeah, who's the tighthead there to him? Is that Davey? Might be. Fair yeah, it would be. Davey Fayo. Absolutely killing it. The former magpie himself. And Leicester Tiger. Try time in the corner. Puni challenging his uncle Digby there. Just finishing off uh, the lead up work. And what's Tommy Lucas doing with the leg strapped? I uh, <laughs> thought it was sevens, mate. thought it was sevens. <laughs> yeah, oh, nice. Oh, just sneaks that one in, Tommy <laughs> Lucas. Good stuff there from the experienced campaigner. So it sees the score, 14 points to seven going into the half. This south side derby is certainly heating up, Saucy Boy. It is, mate, it is. I feel like Shrek's under a bit of pressure after, uh, after last week, mate. Yeah, definitely. It seems that way. I mean, the possession, 50-50 <laughs> right there, and the territory's looking very much the same. So... All we can do is put it down to clearly Shrek is very nervous. <laughs> Surely. <laughs> What's yeah, doing, Shrek? What's down. your game plan for the second half to win? Mate, I'm more nervous about Edzie's bloody session in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, mate. Bit of, bit of Zoom fitness never hurt anyone. What is it, like a Zumba class? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, mate, if you, if you know Edzie, mate, she's definitely no bloody Zumba. Oh, you know, chuck a few dance moves in there, mate. The boys will love it. Back to the action here, though. Hospital Challenge Cup v Southside Derby. Loopy pass there. there goes to ground. And Leia finally does something right in this game. Picks that one up, and Rutherford is pumped there. Salakaya Lotto. Release. Matty Bennett's having to go into half-back. There's some serious shots coming in here from the Dragons. But there's numbers out here if the Magpies can get it out, but they can't. Defense is firing on all cylinders here for Sunnybank. And there's the turnover. Ball out the back, goes to ground, and Shorty Farrell's able to get back and snap all that one up. Dean bumps off one. Oh, good team. Turns that ball over. Matty Bennett gets back there. Plenty of numbers here for the Magpies. Looking to chance their hand inside their own 22. Gutsy stuff here. Defense still coming hard here from the Dragons. Oh, and there's the turnover. <laughs> that is what the Dragons were chasing with that defense, and that is absolutely massive. An opportunity for them now with the scrum feed to add to this seven-point lead. Are we going for a pushover scrum? Surely. Keep that in the forwards, but they... Go for the pick and go off the back. And here we go. Hayden Sargent adds the extras. And there's the third try of the game for the Dragons. Sees that lead extend out once again. And it could be curtains here for the Magpies. I have a feeling Hayden Sargent could be our virtual top try scorer. Have we been keeping track of all of that source? Uh, we'll have to <laughs> liaise with uh, double take and go back to you, mate. Yeah, righto. Oh, I better stop letting him score then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't want him to get to his virtual ego, mate. Yeah. You guys have already made years. <laughs> you got to keep those Gold Coast boys in check, mate. And Lucas adds the extras. 21 points to seven in favour of the Dragons in this Southside Derby final quarter of the match. The Magpiles will want to score very soon to make sure they give themselves every opportunity, and that is going to help them in every way possible. Good opportunity now for the Magpies, but that defense from the Dragons is still absolutely massive. 
Bennett finds Dean. He's got Leia outside him. Guilherme Leia steps back in. Oh, get there, boys. Great turnover there from Sargent. Oh, here we go. Lucas finds Fayo with the pop pass. And Tom Lucas goes straight off the back. Tom Lucas in behind the Magpies. Lucas, ah Wang. Lucas, Lucas, try time. Dragon, see you later, Magpies. Well, it's all things Dragons at the moment with only a couple of minutes left on the clock. Tommy Lucas, a little pick and go from within his own half. Look for length of the field try. Maybe he's playing sevens. It was all too easy. All too easy in the end there for Tommy Lucas. Yeah, line up for his own conversion here. Adds those points with top. ease. 70 minutes in, uh, Shreko. Mm. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Shrek. Oh, man, I haven't, I've never been my ass handed like this for a, in a game, I tell you. So, <laughs> I'm... I'm I don't know what's going on. Welcome, mate. <laughs> I haven't lost the game. You yeah, had a nil all draw last week, mate. And you got burnt by your daughter. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, mate. Yeah. Yeah, good point. Good point. Oh, Panger Mosa. How oh. good. Oh, you should just let that one go through to slip strength. That was great. <laughs> South now with an opportunity inside Sunny Bank half, oh. but can't stick their line out. And here come the Dragons now. And it's that man again, Lucas. Great off the Fight Sergeant! Sergeant with a hat trick, baby! In the south side, Tommy. It's all too easy. What the? <laughs> oh, God. Watch your profanities. <laughs> I didn't drop it. I was, I was close. I was close. <laughs> well withheld. Oh. Hated Sergeant. Man. Gun in real life, gun in the virtual world. <laughs> oh, Mate, Shrek. You sure got this. Oh, my goodness. You are getting pumped. Laced. I think it's time to, to hang up the virtual boots and pass it on after this one. Huh? If you pass it on to someone, mate, that's probably going to be your whole PlayStation, mate. So far, I haven't had much interest from anyone else at South. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they won't be no, wanting to Billy. put their hands up after this one. 35 points to 7. Final oh. score out here in the ah. Southside Derby. Oh. And the Dragons hey, have given the Magpies. Oh, no, buddy. Okay, on this okay. mate, I'm going to call a Sada. An absolute Sada, They're all on roids. Pizzling. <laughs> absolute pizzling. Tui, mate, Southside Derby, and you absolutely smoked them. You must be chuffed, brother. Yeah, mate, that was a good win, eh? Good win, <laughs> good win after a week off. Fine. Oh, mate, <laughs> lucky she go, bro. But the thing the buyer can do mate, for the uh, boys. That's it. Mate, you know, we we had a hit session out, yesterday. <laughs> well, mate, I know... Uh, that, that's... that's Sioni's been talking about how much he's been loving this, mate. The head coach there, he's going to be over the moon watching this. <laughs> oh, a win Sione, over his old club. Man. Oh. Shrek, oh. back to the drawing board, we'll mate. We'll take it. We'll take it. Mate, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> that's that's not even worse than mud. That was like crap. You've had it easy yeah, for a few weeks, say. mate. We had to bring in, uh, you know, someone just to, you know, keep it in check, stay humble. I don't know what, mate. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe those uh, those first three were friggin' ordinary because I just got me hand handed to me on mass hand to me on a plate. Yeah, mate. That was absolutely shocking. Not gonna lie, but there we have it. Southside Derby, thirty five points, play seven in favour of the Dragon. Shreko, Tui, thanks for joining us, lads. Well, the season Cheers, will start soon, boys. Bugger virtual. Let's go to real. Bring it on. He's <laughs> <laughs> gone there. Ooh. Oh, and Shrek's dropped his camera. <laughs> Shrek out. <laughs> <laughs>
Thanks, boys. Cheers, lads. All righty, folks. Well, there we have it. Round six of Hospital Challenge Cup V is done and dusted. Now let's have a quick look back at all the results from today's action. First up, we saw the Eagles play host to Bond, and they went down 19 points to 14. Then a drubbing in the East First Uni game, 26-0 in favour of the students, and then another drubbing. Same score, brothers versus Jeeps. The Gallopers getting up 26 points to nil. Then in our Southside derby, we saw the Dragons get up 35 points to seven. Now, Source, as a result of those results, we've seen a little bit of movement on the uh, ladder. Why don't you take us through it? Well, mate, Bond obviously continuing their undefeated streak. They've won five from five. But with a fifth win for UQ, they're now equal on points at 21. However, Bond do have a game in hand. Sunnybank have progressed up into third position now on 19 points, narrowly trailing behind our ladder leaders. But the Tigers, mate, they lost to UQ. It's seen them fall down to four spot on the ladder, and they are on 12 points. Obviously, they've got some work to do to catch up there. Closely behind them, we've got West, GPS and South all tied on 10 points. And then to round things out down the bottom, we've got Norths still with only the one win. And Brothers, yet to get a win, mate. On a duck egg, mate, and minus 77 points differential. Absolutely yeah. abhorrent stuff there. And you can't help but think Fraser McWright and Brad Kappa, they were probably, probably the catalyst for a lot of that. Mate, potentially the guys are just putting in too much isolation training into the real season when they need to be working on the virtual season. Yeah. The here and now. Don't worry about your actual physical fitness. Learn to play a game on a PS4. Jeez. Some this, people nowadays, Source. Mate, look, you've got the opportunity now to just enjoy PlayStation. Sit back. You've got the excuse. Take advantage of it. Yeah. What, do you think you're better than us because you're fit and good-looking and have muscles and stuff? Anyway, look, that's all the action for today, Source. Thanks very much for joining us as per usual. It was absolutely awesome, brother. No, thanks for having us, mate. Uh, my individual highlight, the John O'Kent 60-metre conversion. Wait to watch that on a little individual clip, mate, that we'll put out on social media for everyone to enjoy. Ruben Fonlow, mate, he absolutely knows how. He's a human highlight reel, that bloke. But ladies and gentlemen... Thanks very much for joining us for Round 6 of the Hospital Challenge Cup V. We'll be back again next week with all the Round 7 action. We'll see you then.